Hello and welcome to Pierce College's Winter 2021 semester. My name is Mia Wood. I'm a professor of philosophy at Pierce College, and I am going to be working with you in these uh, over these five next five weeks in uh, Philosophy Nine Symbolic Logic. So what we're going to do in this video is uh, take a tour of our Canvas course. We'll look at some of the pages so that you have an idea of what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, how you're going to do it, and maybe a little bit of an idea of why you're going to do it. Um, and then we'll also take a look at our web-based textbook. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit about how you can uh, register to uh, use the textbook. In a separate video, I'll talk a little bit uh, about what you can do to uh, be as successful as possible in this course. As you know, five-week semesters are a compression of a standard 15-week term. So there's a lot to do um, in a very short period of time. So it's uh, important that you uh, know yourself well enough to know how to organize yourself, uh, how to manage your time, um, and also to uh, be confident about connecting with me when you need help. So even though we have no um, regularly scheduled class meetings, it still is the case that I am here. So we can always set up uh, a time to meet in a video conference room and chat about questions, problems, and confusions, and of course, ideally resolve, uh, answer those questions and resolve the um, uh, address and resolve the problems and confusions. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the course. Let's take a look at our textbook, and then, like I said, in a separate video, uh, we'll talk a bit about um, your uh, strategies and tactics for being successful. If you have any questions, problems, confusions, let me know. I'm here to help. You should use our uh, Canvas email program uh, first, but you can always send me an email uh, to my Pierce College address which is woodmc at piercecollege.edu. All right, let's do it. Here we are on our course homepage. As you can see in the uh, far left margin, we've got a series of icons. Those follow you uh, wherever you go, not only within our course, but across your uh, Pierce College uh, Canvas courses. And then, so, so that's not customizable. Here, however, you'll see a customized set of links. I have customized them for us. So we're on our homepage, as you already know. Then we've got our syllabus, announcements, uh, link to the library, uh, link to Office 365. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this link is will take you to your Office 365 files. If you want to use the Microsoft Office suite, I think you log in through your um, through your student information system portal. Um, people uh, is a link to the list of folks in the course. Uh, grades will take you to your grades. And then I've uh, offered a link to a number of Pierce College resources. So if you click on this link, you will be taken to a list of uh, resources that I hope you will find helpful. So, uh, for example, admissions and records, uh, the Brahma Food Pantry, the uh, Free Tutoring Center, the Center for Academic Success, uh, EOPNS if you're signed up for that, the Financial Aid Office, and so forth. So I hope that, that uh, these links um, are useful to you. I'm going to go back to our home page. As you can see, there's no, you know, you can you can page back or you can click on the home page. Um, in the middle is the uh, uh, basically the layout that mimics a, uh, a syllabus, a paper syllabus, right? So you can see that we have um, well, specifically the schedule uh, begins week one, right? And it's laid out week one, two, three, four, five. Um, you'll also see toward the top the um, uh, module that involves uh, a bunch of course uh, resources. So one of the ways that you can get to the Logic Course Adventure homepage is by clicking on this link. 
Um, and then I'll tell you more about these other items in the video that's about, um, that covers, you know, success in the course. Um, and then of course the start here link is, um, how you got here. Um, <laughs> in other words, when you click on the start here link, um, you'll see the, the link to, to this video. Um, what's important for you to also notice is that the, um, um, there is a course orientation or sorry, a textbook orientation video, and then here, another link to the um, page more about that in a, in a moment. Okay. So, uh, last thing on your right, um, is a to-do list. Um, what I recommend you do not do is rely on this to-do list to see what you should do and when, and that's because, um, the, there's a distinction between due dates and deadlines. So um, the, the, what you're seeing here, for example, for uh, quiz two is a due date. It's not the actual deadline. And I'll say more about that in just a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, but let's take a, a, a tour through um, the, the modules here with most of our time being spent on uh, looking at the layout of um, each of the weeks by using one as a sample because they all basically lay out the same way. Um, if you have any questions, problems, confusions, um, if you click on this discussion forum link, it's yes, it's locked, but it will be open shortly. Um, you can go ahead and uh, post that here. Um, and then, of course, another way for you to get in touch is to send me an email via the Canvas email tool. Um, Pronto, I think that's the that should be available as well. I don't see it right now, but I think it's because the course hasn't started. But Pronto is a um, uh, is a chat tool, so you can send me a chat message, and if I'm online, I will I will see it and I will respond to you. So um, the Weeks are laid out the same, as I mentioned. Um, we've got learning objectives and topics for each week. We've got resources for each week, and then we've got assessments. So let's just use week one as an example. The uh, learning objectives you'll actually see in the uh, Logic Course Adventure textbook. So I will leave you to look at those there. Um, you'll see a lot of topics uh, under week one. Um, don't be worried or feel overwhelmed by the, the list. Um, the idea is that the topics are broken up into sort of bite-sized chunks, and that's why there tends to be um, a fair number of them. If you think about these as bite-sized chunks, it's less overwhelming. Um, then, and the same goes for the reading. So our textbook, and you'll see this shortly, our textbook is laid out such that there are lots of chapters, but that's because the material is broken up into small chunks so that you um, are not confronted with a, an avalanche of information and skill building um, uh, strategies, but instead you can you can work on them bit by bit. Uh, each week uh, for resources is laid out the same way. There's stuff to read, and each of these links just takes you to the uh, language or takes you to the Logic Course Adventure homepage. So if I click on let's say chapter three, you'll notice that a new tab opens up, and you're taken to the Logic Course Adventure homepage. Same with let's say if you click on chapter eight, right? Um, so that's just there for your, th these links are there for your convenience, um, but you don't have to access the textbook through each of these links. Um, and then there are optional videos to watch. Now, normally I provide a, lots of videos uh, that I've created, but um, uh, the my colleague and I, who are the ones that typically conduct Philosophy 9, decided uh, when the college went online uh, for all coursework to um, switch our textbook. I didn't have time to make new videos. I'm slowly doing that, but um, I won't be done in enough time for you. That said, um, there are some of the videos that I already, um, that I've made for the prior textbook are, are 
appropriate or here, and so I uh, shared them with you. Um, but the good news is um, Dr. Schnee, Schnee who um, wrote our textbook, he's a professor of philosophy at, um, at University of Washington. Um, I think his title might be assistant professor, but in any event, he's a philosopher at the University of Washington, and he um, uh, wrote the textbook, and he's made all of these videos. There are lots and lots and lots of videos, uh, not to overwhelm you, but to give you, um, you know, bite-sized uh, uh, pieces, if you will, or to give you the textbook in small chunks, um, basically focusing on, um, uh, or using, I should say, an explainer approach. Um, and so you say, you might say something like, oh, I want to understand, you know, some, um, um, uh, uh concept involving the truth table while well, you find out which what, what it is that you that you're looking for by way of the the video titles and then you can um, focus home in on that particular concept or skill okay so those are our um, our resources so every week is laid out this way they're they're uh, the links to the textbook um, for each of the chapters and sections uh, optional videos to watch and then the next page in each module, right? So each week is a module, um, and there are the, uh, as we've already seen, the learning objectives and the uh, topics. Then the uh, chapter um, uh, sections uh, for each chapter that we're looking at, um, as well as the relevant videos for that module. And then the last thing is the, the to-do list, right? So um, we have a number of assessments. Our assessments work as follows. We have uh, quizzes, 10 of those, and then we have exams. So I'll say more about those in a little bit. But you'll access your assessments by going to the relevant week, okay? So let me move forward to week two so that you can see what I mean by the layout being the same for uh, each of the pages in, in the modules. Um, as I mentioned, we've got 10 uh, quizzes and then we also have four exams. So all the assessments you complete are completed on Canvas. Um, the textbook that you interact with online in a, via the, the, the web um, is uh, not going to involve any material or any assessments. So er all of your assessments are completed on Canvas, okay? Um, and so forth through week five. Now I'm gonna jump over to the syllabus because the last thing I wanna say is a bit about the, the how we're going to work our, um, our assessments. Um, you'll see that we've got you know quizzes and exams. Now, the quizzes are set up as follows. For the period that the quizzes are open, for, so for the period that any given quiz is open, you can attempt, you can work on the quiz an unlimited number of times. So let's say you uh, take you know, quiz number one and you score uh, 100%, and you, but you want to practice more with the quiz. You can go back into it. You can go back into it until the quiz closes. So the quiz closes, or when the quiz closes is the deadline. That's the available until date. The, um, what, when the quiz, quiz, <laughs> when the quiz closes, you, um, will be able to see the answers, right? But before then you don't see the answers because you have an unlimited number of attempts. At the time that the quiz closes and you can see the answers, um, the, the system will take your highest score. So again, let's say you, you had 100% on your first go of, of, let's say, quiz number one, you know, that's the, the score that gets logged. Um, the, if, if you don't score 100%, so anything less than 100% by the time the quiz score or by the time the quiz closes is going to be uh, logged. Um, according to whichever is the highest score, right? So the idea is to get you to practice, lots and lots of practice. Um, you can, I advise you to look up the, if you can, if you're not working on a phone, for example, or, um, 
if you can set uh, with the windows side by side, so your quiz window and your textbook window, you know, have two separate windows open and have them side by side, you can look up answers, you can review skills and so forth. More on that later when we're talking about how best to be successful. So the idea is that you can, you can take the quiz uh, multiple times. Uh, the due date has to do with the week that the quiz is assigned. The deadline has to do with um, when the thing closes and when you have access to the answers. And the reason why I want you to have um, the quiz open for as long as possible is so that you can keep practicing until the week of the more specifically the Monday that a given exam is due. So, so for example, if an exam, uh, let's say an upcoming exam uh, is due on, well, so every exam is due on a Sunday. But, you know, so, so the exam in question, it's due on a Sunday. That means that whatever quizzes are relevant to that exam that you use to practice for that exam, those quizzes are open through Monday at 11.59 p.m. At midnight Tuesday, the answers are available. And you can consult those as you're thinking about and working on the exam. The exam, however, is not an unlimited attempt item. Every exam, and there are four, uh, has one attempt, and exam times, uh, the exams are timed, and the times range from four to like six hours, depending on the exam. So you should have plenty of time to complete an exam, but once you open the exam, complete it in a sitting, okay? Um, in fact, I should have language to that effect here under exams, but um, uh, I, I will adjust the uh, syllabus by the time you see this video accordingly. Um, the other thing I need to adjust by the time you see this accordingly is the is this note about D's or discussions. We're not doing any discussion, so I'll fix that up. Um, anyway, and then the so so even though there's only one attempt for a given exam, you can retest an exam, and I take the higher of the two scores. Okay, so um, if you keep if you keep scrolling, you'll see that. The um, uh, schedule here on the syllabus is a, a kind of laid out in a version similar to what you see on our Canvas page, right? If you have any questions, problems, confusions about this, let me know. If you think I've made, you know, if there's some sort of error that I've made, let me know. It's not surprising. Um, there's so much digital technology to work with, or there's so much administrative work to do using digital technology. I find that, um, you know, I, I can make errors. So, so let me know if you, if you think I've made one and I'm very happy to fix it. In fact, I want to know when I've made an error. I certainly won't let any errors I've made, um, negatively impact you apart from the stress that I cause. Okay. Now we're going to go back out to our homepage and head over to the logic course adventure. Remember, there are several ways for you to access uh, the textbook website. Um, you just saw the link in the uh, syllabus page. You also can click in the um, click the start here link, and when you do that, you will see a link to the textbook at the bottom of the page. Alternatively, if you scroll down to the course resources module you'll see the, um, a link to the Logic Course Adventure uh, 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 site. <laughs> I can get my words out uh, here. So we're here, I'll just go ahead and click on it. And voila. So scroll to the bottom of the page. Click on the link for Find Your Classes Textbook. Click on the Pierce College uh, icon and then click on the Get Textbook button. So I've already added the uh, book to my cart previously, so um, you know this this would not appear for you. Um, so just ignore that. Let's keep going. And then you are going to enter the following code. 
so that when you click on enter code, notice what happens, the total is zero. Um, what, I, what I want you to know though is that when you, when you, you proceed to check out, you're going to be asked um, for your information. The information that you provide is, if I'm not mistaken, only uh, relevant if you're actually paying for the book. So if you don't want to give your uh, um, personal information in terms of a, of a street address and all that, you know, just go ahead and enter the Pierce College address. And then Woodland Hills, oops, no, I got it right. Ignore my uh, cat, Brett Michaels, mewing in the background. What you do definitely want to do is enter um, your email address, right? So don't enter a dummy address or a, an address that's not yours. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that email address can either be your uh, student address for uh, LACCD or it can be a personal address. And then you click on, I have read and agreed to the website terms and conditions, and then you place your order. Okay. I hope this video helps you get started. Um, not only familiarizing yourself with the course territory, the, the landscape, if you will, the layout of our Canvas course, um, but also with some of the logistics. Please look out for an upcoming video on how to be successful in the course. Meanwhile, Happy New Year's. I hope that, or Happy New Year, I hope this year is um, um, a really, really good one. And I hope that you are safe and well.